Hello everyone. Today there was the second game of the In Cup Finals between Ichiri Kiryo and Sheko. Ichiri Kiryo won the first game. In Cup has a special time control. After three and a half hours, there is a two points penalty every 35 minutes. Sheko is a very quick player, so Ichiri Kiryo had a time issue. He was running out of time. Because of that, because of the time issue, uh, the way they played was a bit different today. Yeah, it, w it is interesting. We will see. They changed the color. Ichiri Kiryo has the white stones. Sheko invaded directly the upper left corner. And after this approach, white played away. They are going their own way. Yeah, this is the right follow-up. You might be thinking of this move, but white can live very easily. Then this is good for white. It's different from the start point. I mean, when you have a, a start point joseki, then this is the right follow-up. Because if you go here, white can invade the 3-3, three, three, then this is good for white. But in this situation, White has no enough room, so this is more powerful. Yeah, this is a better way for black to attack this stone. Yeah, this is a joseki. You might have seen this joseki, right? Yeah, black can play away. Then this is a vital point locally. This is another option. Yeah, white exchanges this. This is threatening this attachment. So black answered and white played away. This is the vital point. With this move, the upper right corner is half dead. If white connects, then this is 100% dead. So white should play on this side. Then black can cut this off. Then the corner stones are dead. So white has an eye here, but even if white plays like this, yeah, this is a disaster for white. White cannot save this group easily, so probably white can sacrifice the corner. So I'd say this is um, almost dead. Yeah, this is the game, but this is a questionable move. White could have gone here, the right side was big. Or white could have played here. Or white could have built the lower side. Yeah, something like this. Probably Ichiri Kiryo, he expected black to play here. Then um, later this is Sente. Yeah, this is our Sente. Then this exchange would be good for white, right? So probably if black answers like this, white can jump here, then this would be great for white. But of course black is not gonna answer like this. I think this is a wish for diagram for white. Yeah, black played away, it was very good. But this is another mistake. Yeah, we can see that this is white's privilege. Yeah, this is Sente. Then, of course, white want to push from this side instead of this, right? Yeah, if black answers like this, white can live. White can make a living shape. If black plays Hane, yeah, of course, this cut is powerful. Yeah, white can exchange this, white can squeeze the corner. Yeah, this is much better than this, right? Yeah, this was a bad exchange. Black was happy with this exchange. And yeah, it looks like white is sacrificing the corner and making good use of the dead stones, but that's not true. Black's territory is quite big and very practical. Yeah, it was not good for white. Now we can do some kind of tewari. Yeah, on the upper right corner, black has three more stones, right? 
black has 12 stones, white has 9 stones. So uh, we can say black has uh, 3 more stones. And we can compare the upper right corner and the lower left corner. Yeah, white has 3 more stones, right? Which side is better? The upper side, um, black's territory is like almost um, solid 30, right? But what about the lower left side? We cannot say white has solid 30 points. I think we can count the lower left side around um, 20 points, 20-ish. Yeah, something like that. And elsewhere, this could be the gomi, and this and this area um, is even. Then we can see that the difference between this side and this side would be the black lead. Does it make sense? So from here on, black started leading. Black is leading by three and a half points. Yeah, Shekhar played here. Yeah, this is a very good move. This is aiming at uh, this shoulder hit later. White invaded here and black answered like this. Yeah, this is a very common way to answer for black. But um, for black, this would have been better. Yeah, I think this is not on our intuition list. Yeah, this is kind of um, out of intuition. Yeah, we can think about this, right? But this is good for white. Black is not happy with this variation. So probably that's why Shekhar just played like this. Probably he thought like he gained some points on the upper right corner. So that's why he chose this way. Yeah, this is very um, simple and common answer. But if black plays here, yeah, black can take the corner then the thing is black got sente so black can go here yeah this is good this is a very uh, nice place yeah i don't think this is that much valuable these two stones white got sente and white went here actually it was okay but this move was um i think it was a big mistake because we can see that uh, after this exchange, black is playing almost neutral point, but white is quite stable on the right side. White managed to settle down, so probably black could have played like this, and maybe later black want to play from this side. Yeah, this is more valuable than this move, right? But I think at this point, Shekha, um probably he was a bit complacent. Yeah, that's why he just wanted to connect his stones. But you know, this group is quite uh, safe. Yeah, he didn't need to connect here. Yeah. So after this exchange, the game became even. But when black played here, white could have just answered like this. Then the right side is alive. But all of a sudden, Ichirikiro played away. Yeah, I think Ichirikiro thought like uh, the upper side is very big, these two stones. But it was not that big. White could have answered like this. Then black lost almost every his lead at the moment. But uh, white played on the upper side, so this is the game. White couldn't answer like this, because the right side is gonna die. Yeah. So Ichirikyo played here. Now black took the lead again. Yeah. The gap is two and a half points. Yeah, black could have played like this, but Shekka chose territory. If white answers, Probably black exchanged this, and then black can play away. But since white answered like this, it was hard for black to play away. So that's why um, black exchanged all this and tried to make a leaping shape. 
But before Black plays here, Sheko could have played on the center, something like this. Then White should add one more move. White should take care of the right side. Then now Black could have gone here. Then Black is leading by two and a half points. But you know, as we saw in the last game, Sheko tends to pass the choice to the opponent in difficult situations, right? But as a result, I think this kind of um, strategy worked very well because Ichirikiro couldn't find the best move. According to AI, the best move was here, but you know, um, finding the best move, especially on the center, is very difficult. So yeah, I think it worked quite well in this game too. Yeah, I played here, but uh, I could have gone here. But you know, it's so difficult. Why well, try to cut on this side? This is a bit um, too aggressive. Black played like this, but for black, uh, black could have played like this. Black can jump here. If white pushes, then black can save these two stones. So probably white should play on this side first. Then black can take these two stones slightly, and then black could have gone here. Yeah, this would have been good enough for black. But it was a bit greedy for black, so the game went like this. I think Sheko tried to save these two stones right away because um, he probably wanted to attack the right group more, right? But the thing is, this group is in danger as well. So Black is not gonna have time to attack the right side. So that was the problem. Yeah, this is the game. So now the game became even. At the moment, Ichirikiro played like this. It was very aggressive. He could have played just something like this. Yeah, attacking from outside. But um, he hit this vital point first. But while he's losing some points in the beginning, it was not that great. Yeah, this is the game. The way White played was very um, straightforward. It was too aggressive. So it was not that efficient. White couldn't play on this side because this is Sente. So the lower side is open. Uh, it is not good for white because this group is not alive. So actually this group was not killable. Yeah. I think at this point um, Ichirikyo regretted choosing this way. Yeah, this is the game. Actually, black could have exchanged this first. Yeah. This would have been much better. But anyway, um, this is the game. White played here. I think this is a very significant moment in this game. Because at this point, um, Ichirikyo had less than 30 minutes, but Sheko had more than two hours. So for white, um, Ichirikyo was going to get a two points penalty soon. So um, he was desperate to capture this group probably because you know if if you can capture this dragon, even if you get a um, six points penalty, it doesn't matter, right? You can have one hundred and five more minutes, right? Then it would be long enough to think about, right? But, you know, when Ichirikyo decided to um, attack this group severely, Sheka changed the direction. Yeah, he played here. This means that from now on, Black is focusing, Black is gonna focus on only saving this group, yeah. That means the game could be longer, right? And you know for sure, um, White is losing two points 
right? So this is why for black, black can sacrifice these five stones. I think um, Ichiriko didn't see this move, of course. Probably he was thinking like, um, if black connects here after this, white is taking away black's eye shape, and yeah, white can go here. And of course, if the sequence goes like this, the game is so complicated. In this situation, the time issue is almost nothing for Ichirikiro, right? But uh, when black plays here, now black is having one eye here. So it became more difficult for white to capture this group. So probably at the moment, um, Ichirikiro he didn't know how to do, so probably that's why he played this move. This is a literally a huge mistake, a huge misjudgment. But I understand this move, this kind of mistake. This is not a matter of uh, lack of skills or something. This is a um, psychological issue, right? Now uh, Ichirikyo he became like um, he started concerning about his territory rather than um, the attack of this group so he is worried about his territory he probably he thought like um, capturing these five stones are not enough because he had to um, pay um, two points and in, in the near future probably um, he could pay another two more points or something. So, um, just he wanted to have this exchange, right? Of course, this is not gonna happen. But you know, psychologically, if you are uh, very anxious, you can just play something like this. Does it make sense? Yeah. Yeah, I think I can understand why he played here. Yeah, of course, his opponent is not gonna answer like this, but. Uh, for some reason, I'm playing this kind of move, right? But with this move, the right answer for white was uh, playing here, yeah. White could have tried to attack more, a little bit more, and tried to um, gain, gain more points from this attack, and then um, he could have come back here. But um, this was a huge mistake for white, and of course black didn't answer. So at the moment, we thought like uh, black was gonna win this game easily. Yeah, but you know um, after this, the white cut here. But this is kind of self Atari. White is feeling his liberty, so it was not good. That's why uh, black was able to play on this side. This is saying like, um, I'm gonna capture the right side and white is not gonna play something like this because yeah, this is Sente. And as you see, the center group, white has a shortage of liberty. So white tried to capture the center stones, but now black can sacrifice the center stone yeah, so this was good for black. With this move, I think actually um, black could have saved these two stones as well. Because like I said, for the center group, this group has a shortage of liberty. So white is not going to play on this side freely, you know. Yeah, yeah white cannot play um, the center freely. So this would have been much better for black but at some point i think Sheko was um, complacent why well, capture these two stones yeah it was big because because now white has no shortage of liberty issue on this side yeah it was very helpful for white yeah later yeah we, we can see yeah, Sheko played like this. Yeah, we, we can see that Black is um, trying to choose a simple move. Yeah. I mean, Sheko is playing very um, territorial moves. 
With this move, black could have captured these two stones. Yeah, this this would have been cleaner. No aji on this side. Yeah, no more aji. But um, black played like this. Yeah, I think when black plays around here, um, Ichirikiryo got a two point penalty. And if black had played like this, the gap would have been more than five points. Without penalty, that means more than seven points. That is a lot, right? But um, it was a bit complacent, I think. Yeah, when white plays here, before um, black goes here, black could have exchanged this kind of move. Yeah, this kind of move. Black should have taken care of the Aji on the right side. Yeah, there there is some Aji on the right side. But I think um, Shekha, he completely forgot about some Aji on the right side. But I think um, Ichirikiryo, he was aware of this Aji long time ago. Probably um, that's why he tried to capture these two stones. Yeah, I, I think um, he was aiming at this Aji and he waited a little bit more. So he exchanged this. It was very, um, how can I say, very skillful, you know. After this, Ichirikiryo cut here. This is something he's been waiting for for a long time. And Sheko played here. He played this move very quickly, but he, this is his losing move. Yeah, he could have played on the right side w without this empty triangle, because after this exchange, you know, um, if black blocks here, then white can connect. Then white can leave on the right side. Yeah, this is a disaster, right? So that's why this is forcing. Yeah, this is forcing. Because I can make an eye shape on the right side. So if, if black was here, now I can wedge it here. Yeah. Because this is sente, this is sente, this is sente, this is sente. Yeah, I can cut here. Maybe this is self Atari, so white is not gonna um, play here first. Yeah, white can cut on this side. Yeah, if black Atari is on this side, this is a call. Yeah, this is a call. White has so many courses over here. So this is a disaster for black. So black should Atari from this side, but um, white can cut this off. Yeah, black cannot connect. Yeah, black is dead. So that's why, you know, this exchange is very useful. I think Ichirikyo, he has been aiming at this move for a long time. So now we check that why this is such a bad exchange. Because without this exchange, this is much better. Because this is not 100% sente. So probably white should go here. Then still um, black is safe. Yeah, this is Sente. So probably white can do something like this. If the game goes like this, um, black is still ahead by five points with two points penalty. Yeah, it would have been okay for Shekha. But he played this move. Yeah, you know, this is a very um, common problem for a quick player, yeah. In this game, his, um, for Shekha, his quick play caused the time issue for Ichirikiryu, but um, ironically, it led to um, this significant mistake. Yeah, so after this, yeah, it was a disaster because the right side, black should answer. Otherwise, white can just make a living shape. Yeah, white can make a two eyes. So black should answer. But, you know, this is such a good move. Then, yeah, this is the only 
sequence. As I said, uh, black cannot play Atari on this side. This is a core, a huge core. This is the game. Now the center group is in danger. Yeah, Ichirikuro answered correctly. At this point, checker collapsed. Yeah. Yeah, black saved the left side. But, you know, center group is so huge. Yeah, this is the end of the game. Black resigned here. Alright, how was today's game? The opening was good for black, but Shekhov played some complacent move, something like this. But white made a misjudgment here, so black took the lead from here again. At the moment, black could have played the center first, but it was difficult, and this is um, Shekhov's style. They started a big fight here. The center fight was crazy. And there was a time issue, so yeah, from here on it was so interesting. Yeah, White made a huge mistake by psychological problem. But right in front of the victory, Sheko made a huge mistake that he completely forgot about the right side. Yeah, he could have taken can care of the uh, right side. This is a move that Ichirikyo has been waiting for a long time. Yeah, it was excellent. Yeah, this is the losing move. Yeah, at the moment, um, there was no way for black to come back. All right, how was today's game? You know the saying, um, there is no perfect game in the huge competition or something. So I think that's why today there were um, lots of mistakes for both players, but it was fun to watch um, how they changed the strategy according to the time issue. Anyway, Ichiriku won the second game, so there is just one game left for him to win the prize. That is amazing for um, Japan, right? The next game is going to be in September, um, 8th of September. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.